What's up everybody? It's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, we'll take a look at clutch number nine, the Mojave Krypton Head Ultramel crossed with a hidden genome of fire yellow belly fader. We'll see the results of it, we'll sex them, and I'll give you a little bit more details on the giveaway snake, which will be from this clutch. So I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy the video. So here goes the first look at this clutch. We have 10 babies, a really good variety of snakes in this clutch. And I gotta come up with the tough decision on which one of these I'm gonna be giving away to one of you out there. So we'll look at them from least genes to most, and we'll just try to guess at what they are and take a look at their, their gender as well. So let's start this. So with a whole mess of genes in this clutch, looks like we got a normal. Yellow belly? Nah, I don't think so. So just a normal ball python out of here. This one will go to one of my students for free. Let's see if they'll get a male or a female. Looks like they'll be getting a female. So female normal, possible head cryptic or clown, and 50% possible head ultramel. Now there's quite a few snakes in here I might be keeping, so I really definitely wanna know whether they are head cryptic or clown and ultramel. So we'll be testing these in the future. Here we have a yellow belly. So some of you not familiar with ball pythons may be wondering, what's the difference between this one and that other one we just looked at? Well, yellow belly, we can see, has an effect on the pattern. It brightens it. And of course it has that belly that it's known for. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it has a yellow belly, but it does have all these tracks go along, going along the side here. So beautiful little yellow belly. Super form is the ivory. Let's see whether this is a boy or a girl. These things are practically popping out already. This one really doesn't want to show off what it's got. There we go. Looks like we got a girl here. Female yellow belly. Head for either cryptic or clown and 50% possible head ultramel. Next up, we have a Mojave yellow belly. You can see how the, the sides here are affected greatly. Now it's not gonna show tracks on the Mojave, but we can tell how aberrant this pattern is. And some of the blushing on the side here that this is Mojave yellow belly. And it's a girl, so Mojave yellow belly, possible or not, het for either cryptic or clown and 50% possible het ultramel. I believe everything else from here on out is going to be hidden gene woma combinations. So seven out of the 10 ended up with hidden gene woma, which is really cool. Now hidden gene woma is part of that spider complex and does have the warning label of it possibly having a wobble, but it's not really known for that, but it is known for having this really cool aberrant pattern. This one almost looks like a carbon copy of its mother with the shape of its pattern. So I'm gonna think there is yellow belly here because of all this beautiful blushing going on. Look at that head pattern. Not sure if fire is in here, but that's a possibility. Take a look at that belly if it'll open up. So definitely yellow belly here. Got speckling on the side. No Mojave. And that is... That's a female as well. So this one's a candidate for the giveaway. 
Oh, I haven't decided yet which one I will give away, but it'll definitely be a female Hinjin Woma combo. So Hinjin Woma, Yellow Belly, Possible Fire, female Het for Cryptic or Clown, and Possible Het Ultramel. So this one may be the giveaway snake. Again, I'll decide and let you guys know exactly the details on that once these have shed out on the next video with them. So stay tuned for that. Now here goes another Hidden Gene Woma combo. Now this one I believe also does have Yellow Belly. Look at the blushing. This blushing reminds me of, of how Yellow Belly interacts with Clown. How it creates these, these red blushing spots along the the lateral portion of the animal. It's a Hinjinoma yellow belly. This one's a lot brighter than that last one we just looked at. So I'm gonna guess that this one does have the fire. So Hinjinoma yellow belly fire. Now fader is a factor here. I did some research on what fader is and it's been described as a polygenic morph that isn't really understood how it's inherited, but it does cause a lot of brightness and blushing. So this could possibly be fader. But since such is little understood about how it's inherited, I won't label it as that. But man, this one is a stunner. I might be holding this one back. That one might be a male here. It's a beautiful hidden genoma fire. Yellow belly head for either cryptic or clown, and 50% possible head ultramel. Man, that's a beauty right here. Now take a look at how aberrant this one is. Super cool hidden genoma combo. I'm gonna guess also yellow belly. Just incredibly aberrant. Not as bright as that last one we looked at, so I'm not gonna guess fire on here. It's gonna go with Hidden Gene Woma, Yellow Belly, Pet for either Cryptic or Clown, and 50% possible Hit Ultramel. Looks to be a girl, I'm not seeing any hemipenes. I might have to look back at this video because I might be doubling up on some of these. There's so many in there and I should have had an extra box to place the ones that I've already shown in, but I'll make the corrections on the video if I have to. Now here goes the last non-Mojave Hidden Gene Woma combo. But man, all of these have been absolutely stunning and a lot of variety in them. Again, with the blushing going on here, the tracks, I'm gonna say a Hidden Gene Woma Yellow Belly. This one is, look at that head stamp. I'm guessing there's fire in this one as well. So fire, hinge, woma, yellow belly. I'm not gonna guess that fader, but a really cool pattern animal here. Oh, there's a hemipene right there. So that's a boy. So male, hinge, woma, yellow belly, fire. I'm gonna keep one of these males around. We'll see. Beautiful guy right here. So this is the first of three Mojave Hidden Gene Woma combos. And man, this one is, this has got to be that fader gene. Look at how high that blushing is. Probably yellow belly involved here as well. Maybe fire. The last three look very similar to this, so all I could really guarantee on this is Hidden Gene Woma and Mojave. But I'm gonna guess Fader on this one as well. Yellow Belly too. <laughs> fire maybe, who knows. That one's a male, so we got a boy here. really cool and I'm gonna have a tough decision on which ones I want to keep out of this clutch here goes another Mojave hidden gene Woma combo 
coloration is very similar to that last one we saw. Some Mojave hinging Loma. Fader maybe. Possible yellow belly. Yellow belly is kind of tough to see in Mojave, but the way its sides are, I'm gonna guess yellow belly as well and the aberrant pattern. Let's see if I can get one of these girls being a Mojave. Hinging Wilma, I'd love that. Let's see if I can get her to calm down for a second. Let's just look at her while she calms down. Look at how cool the three dots are. Kind of a face if we turn around this way on the neck. That one looks like it's a male as well. So another male. Mojave, Hinging Woma. Fader, yellow belly, fire maybe. So I got one more. I'm hoping that one's a girl. We'll see. Really cool. The third and final Mojave Hidden Gene Woma combo. Look at how it's got this unique coloration right here on the alien head. This one's slightly different than the other two we just looked at, I would say. Very, very similar, might just be some, you know, regular variances within a individual. Has a really cool dorsal, unbroken dorsal stripe on it. Come on, be the girl here and you're st sticking around. Oh, got a nice peak gusher here and that one is a female, so. This one is gonna be sticking around. I always get peed on by the girls here. So female Mojave, Hidden Moma, Fader, Yellow Belly, Fire, who knows? But she'll stick around. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned because I'll be having a video every day this weekend. So stay tuned to this channel. Remember that the next time I show these Hidden Gene Momas after they shed, I will have made a decision on the giveaway snake and I'll give you the details on that. So stay tuned for the next video on these hidden gene moments, which should be in about a week. So have a great day, everybody. Take care and be safe.